pyridine is a weak base. We can get our KB for that reaction looking at our table here. So this is from your textbook. If you don't have a textbook, you can get it from any internet source. Uh, pyridine, 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5, uh, 10 to the minus 9. Wow, that's very, very small. So the reaction is uh, negligibly going to go in the forward direction. Let's go ahead and write that reaction and recognize the KB. So it's going to be a source of OH minus. All right, so here's the equation for pyridine. Again, 10 to the minus 9 is a very, very small number. So uh, here in the KB, water is acting as the acid, and uh, this pyridine is the base that's abstracting a proton from water. They tell us in the problem that our star starting concentration is 0 0.050. So here we have 0 and 0. This is the initial in our ice table. Our change is going to be minus x, plus x, and plus x. And then finally, at equilibrium, when it's all said and done and when this reaction is completely finished, we will have 0 0.050 minus x. We will have plus x. And we have plus x. So our KB for this reaction is products over reactants. The protonated pyridine concentration at equilibrium will be X. The hydroxide concentration at equilibrium will be X. So X times X is X squared minus 0 0.050 minus X. And um, that has to equal the KB value at its the temperature. So remember, these are quoted at a specific temperature. And that's 1.7 times 10 to the minus 9. Uh, you know, 10 to the minus 9 is a very, very small number. So um, we can be very safe in our assumption that um, this um, uh, reaction is going to be small and going in the forward direction. So we'll assume x is small. So when I assume x is small, 0 0.050 minus x is about 0 0.050. So x squared divided by 0.050. 50 equals 1.7 times 10 to the minus 9. So 0 0.050, we'll multiply that, take the square root to isolate x. So doing this on my calculator, I'm getting an answer of about 9.22 times 10 to the minus 6 clarity. That's x, but what does x really symbolize? Okay, x symbolizes my concentration of OH minus and my concentration of this conjugate acid to this weak base. So because x is symbolized by my OH minus concentration, I can calculate pOH first and then from there calculate pH. So let's calculate pOH, recognizing pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So pOH is minus the log of the concentration of OH minus, but I just figured that out as 9.22 times 10 to the minus 6. Here you don't want to put units. On my calculator, that's giving me an answer of, of a pOH of about 5.04. So 14 minus 5.04 will give me the pH, and that's about 8.96. So above 7, this is a basic solution, and pyrimidine is a weak base. Concentration of this bottle of pyr pyridine is a point, uh, is, um the concentration of 0 0.050 molar pyridine will have a pH of 8.96, will have a pOH of 5.04. So uh, this low ionization assumption, I just want to uh, lecture about that. Uh, this assumption is valid because we take our x value, which we calculated here as 9.2 times 10 to the minus 6, take our x and we divide it by the initial concentration in the bottle. So the initial concentration in the bottle uh, is 0 0.050. They tell us it's a 0 0.050 uh, concentration initially. So we multiply that by 1,000 and to get a percentage, and that cutoff has to be less than 5%. If you have less than 5% ionization, then this assumption is valid. You can omit the quadratic rule. And so 9.2 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 0 0.050, multiplying it by 100. Yeah, this only ionizes 0.018%. So um, yeah, this, uh, this assumption is very much uh, safe and grounded, and I'm pretty confident in the right answer for this pH.